Hello, Wealthy family. How are you today? So, I'm not going to be too long. I literally was just sitting here and um, got done working with the client um, <laughs> and was just thinking about the power of forgiveness. So, again, welcome all new subscribers. I am on my phone. I just felt like swinging, so mind the motion, but... Think of it kind of like a, a lullaby, right? So when you think about forgiveness, a lot of the time people think that you mean, you know, let's just, I'll forgive you. I'll forget what it is that you did. I'm going to put it behind me. We're going to act like it never happened. And I'm going to be your friend forever and just love you and let it be. And that is not the case. That is not mm -hmm. what forgiveness means. Forgiveness means that you know the situation you recognized what happened you see what role you had in it you acknowledge the feelings of anger or hurt or sadness or whatever feelings that you had that you feel you know the person caused you or the situation caused you and you let it be you don't fester on it you send that situation love, hindsight, right? Because hindsight is always 2020. So when you recognize the role that you had in it, you can now let it go. You can allow it to be and to live where it is, but you no longer are carrying it around with you. You're no longer holding that heavy in your heart. You're allowing yourself to move forward and flourish from it. Okay? So when you truly forgive yourself, and anyone who has caused you pain. I'm not saying that you have to call that person up and say, I forgive you. I'm letting it go so I can be free. It can be as simple as you standing in your bathroom mirror and just say, you know, so-and-so, I forgive you. I forgive you for the pain that you caused, for the transgressions I feel that was put towards me. I'm going to let it be. Peace to you. When you let that go, it's like cut cutting away a anchor it's like cutting away you know a weight and you feel so much better and now that space that was once filled with anger and sadness and resentment you can now fill that space with love and abundance with all the positive and righteous things that you ever felt that you ever wanted you can now allow space for that to come into your life Forgiveness allows you to soar. It allows you to fly. It allows you to realize that there is something bigger out there. A lot of us think in, uh, we think one dimensionally. And I mean that meaning you, a lot of us think that it's just bomb, 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 bomb. But that's not the way life is. Life is not like this. Life is not like this, rather. Okay? It's not linear. Life stacks. Okay? There's endlessness. There's infinite. So when you hold on to something that causes you uneasiness, even if you feel that you let it go, but every time someone mentions that person or that situation, you feel yourself tightening up and getting mad. And now you're making decisions based off of you not wanting to feel the way that you felt again towards that situation. Like, you know, if you say, I, oh, I'm never going to eat at so-and-so restaurant because that person slighted me or that's where so-and-so broke up with me at or whatever the case may be. When you still hold on to that, you're still giving that situation power in life. But when you're truly forgiven and past it, you can talk about that situation. You can talk about that person and not have any resentment because there's nothing but love that's in that space. And when you have love in that space and you're by default raising your vibration, raising your attitude and allowing yourself to soar high you are by default doing the same for everyone else to that person that you may have been holding the ill will against towards the situation and towards humankind as a whole 
the collective as a whole. Because when you're happy, you admit happiness, and now everyone that you interact with and everything that you do is done with happiness. So continue to be happy. Continue to forgive yourself one step at a time. Forgive yourself for the mistakes, the so-called mistakes that you may have made. Forgive yourself for the indecisiveness. Forgive yourself for the procrastination. Forgive yourself for all those horrible things that you tell yourself. Forgive yourself for feeling unworthy. Forgive yourself for seeking the love that you so desire from someone else, forgive yourself for that and let it go. And allow that space to be filled with love, joy, peace, abundance, prosperity. Fill that with your own divine will. Whatever it is that you want, you fill that space with it. Because when you have that, no one can stop you, baby. <laughs> so I like I said I was just sitting here thinking about that I just wanted to share that with you all I'm gonna go finish hanging out with the children um, for the day they were actually out here with me but I guess the heat caught up with them <laughs> so until next time wealthy family let me know in your in the comments below you know what are some things or some people that you want to forgive you know if you want to share it out there put it out there and let it go right beautiful butterfly confirmation <laughs> i love you all enjoy the rest of your day until next time wealthy family stay alert stay aware and live in love